I'm Daniel, and I'm gonna go on a diet for the next 30 days for the 30 day challenge. The only reason I chose to go on a diet is because I have never been on a diet, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to change that. I weigh about 148 pounds. The average weight for my height is roughly 150. I would say I'm pretty average, but when considering my meal plans and exercise plans, I'm not the average healthy human being. They're irregular and unhealthy, and it's giving me problems. It's, in fact, it's, it has been giving me problems ever since I got into middle school. Always tired, always demotivated, and always have skin problems in my face. It's, it's time for me to change. After browsing on Amazon, I found this book. It's called Super Shred Diet, written by Ian K. Smith. It explains how your body accumulates fats and what needs to be done to lose weight and get into shape. For example, if you consume more energy than you actually burn off, your body stores the leftover for later emergency use. Meaning, if you eat appetizer and dessert for every single meal and still go to the Starbucks, then you're gonna need one of these books. My goals for this project are to exercise daily, even after the challenge, learn 10 dishes, learn smoothies, and finally get healthy, stay motivated, stay awake, and get those acne is out of my face. Mm. Alright, it's 6.25 in the morning. Um, I'm going to be making the first meal of the uh, 30... Scrambled egg. By the way, they're bought yesterday. This week, the first week is foundation week. It's to get my body used to the plan where synchronized eating and exercise. So for this week, we're having four meals, three snacks, and four beverages a day, and at least 45 minutes of workout. For snack, I had an apple. I just got home, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna make myself for lunch. I'm gonna be making a salad and some soup. For salad, I used lettuce, banana, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, blueberries, and egg. For soup, I used. It's, it's an instant, I'm sorry. And green tea is just green tea. Although, I'm gonna make a real soon. Real soon, okay? Give me a break. And for that night, I had a, I had a veggie delight, and I couldn't get any visual evidence that I had that because I was working that night. So, so it's day three. I'm making taco for my lunch. We've got tortilla, lettuce, onions, carrot, egg, and some cheese on it, and then fold it, put it in the microwave, and take it out on the table. That's my tap. For breakfast, I made a smoothie. It's called the purple mash, blueberries, pineapples, vanilla yogurt, some milk, lemon, 
and honey. Mix them together, and there you have it. The purple mesh. So on the book, it says, hey, why don't you get yourself a sandwich? It could be either chicken or turkey. So I chose turkey. It's already day seven. Oh, I want to stop. I made smoothie again for breakfast. <laughs> Although we had some fun staying there for the competition, the resort had a great view and a swimming pool. It was awesome. Everyone was nervous about the competition, but we, our school, won gold and a silver. Our projects were so good that they even wanted to have them at the lobby so that everyone could see. It was really awesome. Second week is to accelerate the weight loss, but for me, it's going to be improving my relationship with food and exercise, and to improve my attitude about what I can accomplish. In the morning, I had a cereal called Kashi, which helped me to eat more healthy. I went to school, and after school, I had a pumpkin soup, and after that, I worked and had a chicken sandwich. And after work, I went out biking for about an hour. I went to Sprouts to get more vegetables. What I had wasn't enough for the meals I planned to make for this week. These are all for either salads or smoothies. For lunch, I made myself tortillas with chicken this time. All the ingredients to make some Mexican food. I'm using onions, carrots, mushrooms, lettuce, chicken, tomato sauce, and cheese. After all the veggies are chopped, fry them until they turn brown. Get tortillas, put everything on them, put in the microwave, and we're done. We got the main menu right there, and some water, hot sauce. Anyways, for today's workout, I did jump rope for 40 minutes. It was very exhausting. Uh. And for dinner, I had some fish. It was alright. Day 14, April 2nd. As you can see, I'm making a smoothie for my breakfast. It's strawberry simpleton. And I'm using 3 cups of frozen strawberries, 1 cup of milk, and 1 third cup of strawberry jam. And then I had to go to school, and came back for lunch. For today's lunch, I'm going to be making chicken and rice. And here are some, some of the ingredients that I'm going to use. First, we have rice, cup of rice. We got some sliced celery, uh, chopped chopped up chopped onions, some chicken. We got some salt and pepper and chicken broth. With vegetables, chicken, and broth in the pot. Boil it for 10 to 15 minutes. Put rice in there and boil it again for 10 minutes. There you have it. I went to gym to work out again and had watermelon for dinner. Week 3. It is the toughest week in the program. My body is responding to my hard work and the payoff. To keep it going, I must push harder than ever. It's olive oil. Mm. Cheese. It's real. 
As you can see, I'm making something. It's a spaghetti, but I'm using ramen as a pasta. We'll see how this goes. This is gonna be great. I used real vegetables like mushrooms and bell peppers, so it's all right. After the delightful lunch, I headed to gym and ran. It had been so long since the last time I tasted meat, so I had some steak. Week 4, Tenacious. This is the final sprint that is going to cement my improved eating habits. I'm real, but it's, it's left over from yesterday, so it doesn't matter if the pasta is from yesterday because we're using real ingredients. This, uh... Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Tomato sauce, which is also left over. <laughs> and uh, some mushrooms. What's wrong with it? Mushrooms. Uh, bell pepper. And cheese. Uh, milk. Yes, it's gonna be great. First things first. Go. Ooh. I'm gonna get a tray. We're gonna put these. We're gonna. Oh, oh. All right. I think we're good. So. And check this out. Oh, real pasta. So today is the last day for the 30 day project uh, for me diet. I'm really happy that I got this so far. I never would have thought I would really go on a diet and like do it oh, step by step what the book said. Before I get into the reflection thing, I want to talk about how I missed this ramen. So I'm going to show you guys how I make this ramen. Today. So it's gonna be my meal for today because today is my last day. My third day project! I'm really excited for this. So before I go on a diet, I set up four goals. The first goal was to exercise daily at least for 40 minutes a day. Um, for to that, to be honest, I, I couldn't exercise daily for a lot of reasons. First, I had a competition to go. Um, there was a competition down in Tucson. We had to stay there for three days. There was no transportation that could take us out to get groceries or anything like that. We had to eat what the hotel provided for us. The second thing was 10 smoothies. And the third thing was 10 dishes. Of course, they're from the book. Um, it wasn't really easy preparing for every meal that I had, but I really enjoyed it. And the fourth thing was to get healthy, stay motivated, stay awake, and get acne out of my face. Um, I certainly am motivated and awake because I know how to accomplish goals. My acne has gotten better ever since I started the diet, so that's a good thing. Through this challenge, I learned I can accomplish anything in a very short amount of time. I was always afraid of setting up a goal and challenge myself, but now, I now know I can eventually accomplish any goals if I just look for today, but not tomorrow. I really enjoyed making food and I really regret not choosing a different book for 30 day project. I should have chosen a cookbook where I am the only one who is responsible for my body. Not my mom, not my father, but myself. 
So, without further ado, uh, let's make some ramen. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna need a ramen, of course, and a pot. And from there, you're gonna start following the instruction, which is on the back of your ramen, right there. So, first, it says boil 550 milliliter of water and noodles, soup base, and vegetable mix. So, in order to get the exact amount of the water, we're gonna be using a water bottle. The regular one, yeah, you can find anywhere in your house, I'm sure of it. Like this one, because this one says 500 milliliter. So, all we gotta do is put some water in the pot. Put like a little bit more. I think uh, this will do. There you have it. And next, um, you're gonna you're gonna want to uh, start the fire. Start boiling. On the instruction, it it just say like it says boil water and noodles and soup base and vegetables all together. We're not gonna do that because no. I know this. I've been eating ramen for like how long? I don't know. Since I was one. I'm kidding. And just put in the water. And just an FYI, if you cheese, egg, I'll just put it right there. Um, things like or some like uh, frozen pizza for you know for your ramen to make it healthier. Healthy. Right, so the water is boiling right now. So I'm just gonna open the lid. And put the ramen like that. Ooh. And make sure it goes, the ramen goes completely underwater. Yes. You know, and wait for like 30 seconds. It looks like. It's been 30 seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead, crack this open, put it in there, oof, noise. And again, we're gonna wait for another 30 seconds, I guess. Oh, yes, we're gonna put some cheese on there. Again, this is your option. You don't really have to put cheese on it, but I would recommend it. Ugh. There you go. Oh, let me just... Yeah, good. Really good. Okay, that's good. And... That's about it, really. Done, yes. That's about it, that's it. And after that, you eat it. Yeah. 